here's a quick guide on how to make a comfortable shotgun build while using the new powder mantle skill. Powder mantle activates an orange aura on your character after doing a certain amount of hits. That amount is different for all weapons. If you get hit when you have orange, monsters take a small amount of damage and the aura disappears. If you don't get hit in 20 seconds, the aura will turn blue and your next attack will do an explosion that does higher damage. The explosions scale with your raw attack. When it's blue, it no longer matters if you get hit, but it will turn back to orange if you don't hit the monster in 20 seconds. Lastly, the mantle will disappear once you're out of combat, no matter what color you have. Each level of powder mantle cuts the amount of hits needed to activate the skill. For heavy bow guns, level 1 need a 100 hits, level 2, 75, and level 3, 51. Spread Ammo 3 is one of the best ways to build up those hits. Every bullet always does 5 hits, which means level 1 will only need 20 hits, level 2, 15, and level 3, 11. But with Spread Ammo, you have to be close to the monster to deal damage. That's why it's called a shotgun build. It can be dangerous being really close, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem because you'll be using a shield mod for your bowgun. Guarding prevents the mantle from disappearing, and it's easier with heavy bowguns because you automatically guard any attack as long as you're facing it and you're not doing anything else except for walking. The choice of weapon for this build will be the scorned Magnamalo heavy bowgun. It can shoot spread 3 ammo while moving, so it can slowly adjust your position while maintaining DPS. Spread ammo reload is already the fastest. That means you don't need to use the reload speed skill, saving you level 1 slots which can now be used for recoil down level 3 to minimize spread ammo recoil. The armor set consists of both Risen Teostro helm and chest with one level of powder mantle on each piece and gives a total of level 2 weakness exploit and level 5 critical eye which is insanely good. These two pieces alone can be used for any build that needs crit. Next pieces of equipment are the Violet Mizutsune gloves and waist for level 2 embolden, which further adds more levels of guard, and Malzino legs for more attack boost and weakness exploit. Getting level 3 powder mantle is not necessary, but the Risen Theostra waist gives level 2 ballistics which can be useful for spread ammo. It's just something to consider if you want to switch armor pieces around. For talismans, I recommend getting an attack boost or critical eye talisman with the best slots you have, but even without talismans, you still get the following skills that you see on the screen. Agitator level 5 gives 15% crit and 20 raw attack if the monster is enraged. This skill activates more often thanks to embolden which makes monsters enraged faster if you have their attention. Diversion will further increase your chances to get attention. You get a total of 90% crit once all skill conditions are met. 15% from Agitator level 5, 25% from Crit Eye level 5, and 50% from Weakness Exploit level 3. A hot tip for you guys is to use the skill augment from Curious Crafting to replace Blight Resistance, Stamina Surge, and Adrenaline Rush for more useful skills. Other skills to look out for or to add can be more levels of Attack Boost, Critical Eye, Critical Boost, Spare Shot, Ballistics, or Evade Extender for more mobility. For Weapon Augments, get level 2 Affinity Boost to reach 100% crit. But if you found a way to get 2 more levels of crit eye, just use the highest level of attack boost that you can get. You still take chip damage when guarding, so make sure to bring level 4 Super Recovery Dangle for passive healing. Halakos are also an option especially when using healing Cloverback, or followers especially Hinoa when using the hunting horn for bucks. This build is probably the best and safest way to take advantage of Powder Mantle, and at the same time, take no damage all thanks to the shield mod. It doesn't deal the highest damage but if you want to relax, then this is the build for it. To see other ways to play with Powder Mantle, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also leave a like and comment what you think about the build. Thank you so much for watching and see you on the next one. Take care.